so uh, in this week challenge uh, yeah you've already yeah i think you've already become familiar with this week challenge and rather than uh, analyzing or going through the data that we that we are going to give you're going to bring the data by yourself by scrapping and bring you yeah by uh, different methods you're going to bring the data by yourself so it seems like it's not only cleaning and checking whether the data are fine or not so it's not only that it's you're going to also build or decide what type of uh, design or their schema and things like that so today we will see a dbt or data build tool so we're going to see a little bit concepts and uh, some illustration but you know since you're going to bring the data in you're going to deal with the um but, we don't know what the data is and you will decide what type of data and what type of structure the data will have uh we're going to uh, we'll leave it to you that part so what is dbt dbt is a data data build tool it's an open source software tool that enables data analysts and engineers to transform and model data into in the data warehouse so there are here three things like i think uh, you're already familiar with data warehouse too so data warehouse we have the place that we're going to store the data and we're going to bring the data right so we we might do this this transformation part we might do the data the transformation inside the data or outside i mean inside the data warehouse or outside the warehouse so so but dbt it's the, just a tool that enables the you in this case to transform them uh, to transform in model data in inside the data warehouse so it simplifies the ETL process uh, have you uh, have you heard about ETL? Maybe ETL and ALT. Maybe in the sessions before today. Yeah, right. Yeah, junior. Yeah, so I guess we're familiar with uh, data transformations. I, I mean, ETL extract, transform, and load, or the other one, ETL extract, load, and transform. They are basically the same concepts. So as you already know. But in the ETL uh, step or process, we're going to, the first step is to extract the data from the source system in both keys. And then uh, the difference is where the transformation will happen. In the ETL step, uh, the transformation is going to come before the loading, um, yeah, the loading part. And in the LT, the loading will come first. So we're going to load it to the data warehouse. So. Uh, where do you think in the uh, depending on the on, on this week challenge or on also if you're going to store it depending on the definition that we have defined earlier here what do you think the process that we're going to use while using dbt is that etl or elt you can just type it on the chat box. which one do you think are we going to use or uh this this tool or dbt which step is going to uh, which uh, is it going to help the ETL process or the ELT process? What do you think? Yeah, okay, we can just proceed. ELT versus ETL. Okay. So, um, based on the definition that we have defined here, uh, we just said it's going to uh, help it's going to simplify the ETL process actually we've just mentioned it so um, if we say that if, we, if it is going to help the ETL process actually uh, on the previous times or periods the usual method to use was ELT so the extraction and the loading to the uh, data warehouse and the transformated oh so in this case on this specific case I'm, I'm sorry we're going to go with the ELT part okay using modern data house like the snowflake speed query redshift transformation can be done in place making lt more efficient so lately we're using lt and we're trying to find methods that we're uh, that will simplify the elt or the extract and load and then transform part which is we're going to make some transformation or we can also we can also make some transformation after loading the data to our data warehouse okay in the LT, we just extract the data that is transformed on the separate process server, and then the transformed data is loaded so that to store the data. Okay, so um, so we're kind of shifting from ETL to ELT 
so that as, as if we have already known about the concept so what, what you need to be familiar is what type of transformation do i need to do for the data to make the data as descriptive and as clear and as a, as qual, uh, a quality data as much as possible okay so if also mentioned in the ppt i mean in the document setting up dbt in our uh, in the, or in our server or in our remote server, it's we're going to install dbt. So in this case, I have just used Postgres, but depends. As we have mentioned earlier, there are different types of warehouse. Warehouse likes the Snowflake, BigQuery, Redshift, and maybe are you specified? I don't think so. I have tried to check the document, but I don't think that you're specified for specific, to use specific uh, uh, but data warehouse, right? Are you? Maybe. Is there anyone maybe during the previous sessions or the introduction sessions mentioned to use specific database or where else in the other name? Since you know we can use uh, we can connect the, we can use DBT in order to connect with both Snowflakes or other uh, Redshift. What do you mean? Yeah, Postgres. I mean one of them is Postgres, but we can use we can we can use it with different data warehouses as I mentioned now. So what I mean is, are you specified? To, are you told to use specific database? I didn't think so. I don't think so. But maybe if you're if you're supposed to use specific database, you can tell me. I don't think so. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. So it's not. I think Postgres. So do you think anyone mentioned Postgres, Matthias? Because it's not mentioned on your document. So it is just to give you the right to use the easier like, do you think matthias it is mentioned or it is do you think it is said that you you can use or it's preferred to use postgres is there anywhere on your document matthias you might speak you can also speak up I think so, that's not mention it. Okay, very nice. So I think it, since you are familiar with uh, Postgres before, it might be a good decision to use Postgres too. But my point is it's not a uh, thing decided or specifically related to use on Postgres. Also, you might get many resources using Snowflakes or another uh, warehouses, but you might not get that resource while trying to connect to your, your Postgres with DBT, but yeah, since you're familiar, you're familiar with loading your data to your Postgres and things like that, you can go with that. But if there is any, anyone who is thinking to use another data warehouse and feel like it is uh, not possible to use according to the document, then you can ask, you can ask me or I will ask Nati or I will ask the team for you. So trying to yeah, trying to uh, set up dbt as mentioned here in our ppt the first one is to install dbt and postgres okay here in this case postgres it is dbt postgres and if it is snowflakes then you can use snowflakes here if it is bigquery you can put bigquery here depending on the database that you want or you can also install all of them at once like install dbt dbt postgres dbt um and bigquery and things like that and then you can initialize your project using dbt initialize my project so th this will be the name of your project or in my case i have used taste in this place and the folder that i have uh, created okay yeah okay so these are the folders that will be displayed while creating your um, while initializing your project or your specific project okay so dbt it's the virtual environment so it's recommended to create virtual environment also maybe in this case uh, it might be easy uh, it might not be that difficult every time but while pushing your the data don't uh, include the the, the, envir the environment okay so there is the looks in the tastes and here inside the taste there are those files and inside the log there's every logs or every actions that are um, recorded so there's this log file so the main point is or the main folder is the taste folder 
as I told you before, okay, we can see here. I think it's visible. So I've just walked to this folder, but before coming to this path, yeah, I have initialized this in any move test, so that is why you can initialize your project in uh, any name that you want, it's just a variable. So next is every model or every transformation that you want to make, you're going to do it, or since it's a model, you're going to do it inside the models, okay? So there are some examples here, as you can see, that is just given from, uh, uh, that is given by default. There are two examples, so you can see that the, the codes are just a SQL code, so yeah, both of them, you can just learn what type of uh, codes or what type of things are we going to put inside the uh, the model folder. So inside an, uh, the example, we have those two examples, I mean, yeah, those uh, .sql files. So in the schema, you can see that, so if, since we were putting here two types of models, two dbt models, we have put two names, okay? The first, my first DBT model and my second DBT model. Uh, there's the description, which is not that important. So since it's not going to be that large data or it's just uh, trying to define a very a single uh, column, which defines the columns, the ID, the description, and data tastes, unique in that okay? So, but maybe, Let's see if let, let's say that we're trying to connect or we have loaded in, in our data where I was a big data or we can just put the our it's not supposed to be schema always it can be sourced to uh, it is just supposed to be a YAML file but um, we can just put it as a source or we can give it different name so here we've just given it a name that you want to give it's not a mess then there's the schema which is the schema of your database okay in my case maybe in your case you might not have a schema but if there is a schema for your data you need to put the name of that schema otherwise it's not going to be possible to, to for you to uh, be able to connect it to your to, to the, the database so in this case i got yeah a public schema as you can see here so and then there's the name the name of the table okay so maybe let, let's try, I hope, I think you, you can remember the data about the, the analysis that you've, the, the daily analysis, right? The, the analysis that is done for the telecommunication system, we got those variables like total downloading, by, uh, download bytes and, right? You can re you remember the total sessions, those variables. So let's try, so first in trying to transform our data, if it is a random data, or in this case, this data is a very structured data, but maybe you can you might have a random data, so you can also put do uh, the cleaning part even after not the not the literal cleaning, but after putting the some data, so you, you can go through the uh, missing values and uh, things like that after loading the, the data into your warehouse. Okay, so you can do the cleaning. Uh, you can do some aggregations so that you can add some variables here you can see that there are there, there you, you can count the total sessions here uh summing up the total download uh and the total up to upload files here so 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 you can use depending on your data you can put different types of uh, transformation system here so the main things that you want to keep is the okay. So here you, we, you will have the dbt project.yaml file. This is the folder. Okay, so there it have the name. The, the most important thing is the name, which is the name of your database, and the profile, which is the folder that contains, that is going to contain the model, okay? Which, or the project that you've initialized. And the other one is after initializing, or yeah, after initializing the project, you can go to, uh, yeah, you can go here to your uh, user page and you will find the, the .dbt file. Here there is the profiles, uh, the, the profiles YAML file, okay? So opening this, we can put it like this. So depending, I have just um, commented those files because see, uh, wait, yeah, this is for the, project.yaml file and let's be here. So I have just commented those two files because you can see that the first, the, the two projects that we've, that we get as an example. Uh, 
inside the example file are here okay it just gave them the name of the database name of its own the host name the schema and traits and the type so everything so we can edit it in our form so for trial you can just yeah we can just put here the, the database name is the teleco the host is localhost i got the password and the port number the schema the traits and the type and the username that uh, some of them will came by default like postgres and things like that okay so at the end if it is targeted for dave so it means we got the name dave here if, if we can change here the name also we can we're going to change the targeted name so uh, the things that you need to make sure before making the connection is to put a configuration here that corresponds with, with your database and the name of the database here inside the, the database project.yaml file in the profile which is um Again, the profile, which is the project that you've created. And yeah, just be careful. It's a different um, configuration if you're going to use another database or uh, another database. Yeah, yeah, another warehouse, okay? So after doing that, and the other thing is maybe in your newly created schema, as we have mentioned, yeah, just put the name of your schema. I mean, the schema and the name of your tables okay so let's just try if it is let's say the code name is by four street and trying to yeah after look after doing the configurations we can just go to the we can code where we could write dbt debug okay so check your data description and try again it says try again or which which means it's not working okay so let's get back to the right port number and we're just going to do the btd back as i mentioned so yeah this is the answer that we're that we're going to get if our connection is right or if we are able to connect with this with the database having this port or on our local host okay so if this is the case then we can go to the models part and don't forget as i told you before mm, yeah it's kind of messy so yeah going to the model part and here you can put every comments every uh the transformation steps just be careful what type of transformation you choose since you're going to scrap different data so you might one of the transformation that you're going to do might be aligning or uh, merging the data set that you brought or the new data set with the previous one and yeah and other transformations that you're going to do them here and which means you're going to transform the data after in your database after loading them to your database okay so you're going to use the usual uh, uh sql methods in order to preview or to see your data okay so this is this will be the session so if there is any comment or questions from your side let's see Matthias, uh, should we perform field identification and value extraction from Telegram extracted data before using DBT? Or is this process part of the DBT workflow? And how about extracted images do we need to store in our data warehouse? Mm, this is not, in my opinion, this is not. We're going to see about the image uh, yesterday, uh, tomorrow, but it doesn't include the image part. Since you're not, it's not going to be, it's not going to be that, uh, convenient to merge the data or animate data with your previous um, data. So the whole idea of uh, transforming the data in your warehouse is to make, at the end of the day, to get one reliable data source. So we're not going to do it for some types of data that are not going to, that are not able to merge with each other. For the first one, um, uh, for common analysis or cleaning and maybe field identification and value extraction 
yeah, I prefer if you can do these types of things before the uh, DBT. So after all, you're going to do, or you're going to include, or you're going to analyze, it's going to be easy for you if you have somehow structured file inside your warehouse before doing the DBT, okay? Otherwise, the transformation is going to be complicated. So you need to do the major or the major cleaning and analysis method uh, without the DBT. Okay, Matthias. So other questions? So which can we in the session here? Which means is it clear? Anyone? Yes. Junior of Tom and Abigail. Yeah. Since you guys are very little, I can call you. Okay then. Thank you everyone. Good luck with your work.